What is major histocompatibility complex or MHC? MHC molecules are important for T cells activation. So to understand the T cells activation, it is important to know what is MHC. Generally, MHC are like billboards. They are working to inform the T cells about what is happening or what is going on inside the cell infection, disease, or damage in the cell. There are three types of major histocompatibility molecules, known as MHC1, MHC2, MHC3. MHC1 and MHC2 are the most known and well-studied in the T cells activation, while MHC3 still not very much studied. Today I will talk about MHC class one and MHC class two in details. MHC class one is found on the surface of every nucleated cell in the body. So it is found on the spleen, in the fingers, liver, and B cells, and any nucleated cell. But it is not found in the RBCs because there is no nucleus in the RBCs. MHC class 1 is divided into three types, known as MHC class 1A, MHC class 1B, MHC class 1C. And each one of these has many alleles, and it is different among the individuals. MHC class 2, on the other hand, is a complex of proteins expressed only by the antigen-presenting cells. And the function of these proteins is to present antigen to T helper cells to activate an immune response, which will provide humoral antibody and cell-mediated immunity, as I mentioned in my previous video about antigen presentation. Similar to MHC class 1, MHC class 2 is also divided into three types, known as MHC class 2 DR, MHC class 2 DQ, MHC class 2 DP. And each one of these types has its own alleles. And it is important to know that every human has his own MHC molecules. It is like the driving license or the ID number. And this will allow our bodies to tell what cell belongs to it and what cells are foreign. And this is important in the organ transplantation. So when you hear that someone is waiting for a matched liver or kidney, it is the MHC molecules of the donor and the recipient that the transplant doctor is trying to match. So this is the importance of MHC molecules. And to summarize, I would make a short comparison between MHC class one and MHC class two. MHC class one express on every nucleated cell in the body except RBCs, while MHC class 2 expressed only by the antigen presenting cells like macrophages. MHC class 1, the groove, as you see in this cartoon, has closed ends, as you see, and the peptide must be contained nicely within the groove, while the MHC class 2, the groove is opened, has no closed ends, and the peptides overflow the groove. MHC class 1 has one long chain and one short chain, while MHC class 2 has two long chains called alpha and beta. With this, I would like to thank you for watching this video, and if you like this video, please hit like, share, and subscribe to see the next videos.